What is going on New York Giants fans? Welcome to another video from Hit Squad Productions. In this video, we got a little bit of breaking news. This is actually coming off of Adam Schefter. But before I get into the breaking news, I do want to say thank you so much to everybody who has supported this page. If you're new to the channel, hit the sub button, leave a like, comment below your thoughts on the video, whether you liked it or not. If you have a Twitter, follow us on Twitter. The link will be in the description. You can see my at on this video, so you guys can follow me there. I love talking football with y'all. It really means a lot to me. Thank you guys for the support. Now, this is actually coming off of Adam Schefter, and that is the New York Giants signing veteran defensive tackle Danny Shelton to a one-year deal. Now, look, Danny Shelton, a.k.a. Feast Mode, I love that name, Feast Mode, you know, he is... Honestly, in my opinion, Dalvin Tomlin's temporary replacement. You know, he was drafted in the first round of the two, uh, 2015 NFL Draft by the Cleveland Browns. He's played with the Patriots, so there's ties there with Joe Judge. He's also played most recently with the Lions. And, you know, we did bring in... Um, I actually don't know his name, to be very honest with you, on the top of my head. Um, but he worked with the Lions last year and actually helped us bring in players like Kenny Galladay. Uh, but when you look at Danny Shelton... Look, you're getting a beast of a player, 6'2", 345 pounds, 27 years old, and he can get to the QB. He can get to the QB, but he's known for stuffing the run. And honestly, that was Dalvin Tomlin's specialty to where he could stuff the run and he could get to the QB. I do think that with Dalvin Tomlinson signing with the Minnesota Vikings, the Giants really needed to address that position. And I personally like B.J. Hill. You know, I like R.J. McIntosh. You know, I know a lot of Giants fans are on that train as well. But I do think that if we have a healthy rotation like we did with Spags, honestly, you can't complain about it. Danny Shelton, he fits with the age of these players. He fits into the scheme pretty well, if you ask me. And you're getting a solid player. You know, you're getting a very solid player. And when you look at him, he's been healthy most of his career. And... I can't complain about that. You know, I, I, I really do think that having a player that we can rely on and a player that we can plug in and he can be an impact player is only going to help out this defense. It's on a one-year prove-it deal. So obviously, you know, he may not be the long-term answer. I do expect the New York Giants to pick up a defensive tackle in this draft. But you got to love the signing. It's a low-risk, high-reward type of player. And honestly, these are the kind of decisions and signings that the New York Giants have been making this offseason. And the New York Giants have, what, signed, what, 15 players? If not, maybe a little bit less. And most of these players are plug-in players that can make immediate impacts to this offense and to this defense as well. So I'm very happy with these signings that we've been making. I honestly got to give Joe Judge and Dave Gettleman an A-plus for this offseason. We've been knocking it out of the park. I'm very excited for this New York Giants team in 2021. And we haven't even hit the draft. So this team, in my honest opinion, there's no reason why we shouldn't win 9-10 games going into this season. I'm very excited. You guys should be excited as well. Let me know your thoughts below. How are we feeling about the Danny Shelton signing? What are your thoughts on it? Do you guys think that we should address the defensive tackle position in the draft even with the signing Danny Shelton? Let us know below. If you're new to the channel, again, hit that sub button. Follow us on Twitter. Leave a like. And we will see you guys in the next video.